Hey everybody, here we are today in New Rochelle, New York for uh, Glen Island Car Show. We are here with Gary. Gary's got his beautiful diamond tee, and I'm going to let him tell you about it because I'd be lost trying to tell you about this beautiful car. <laughs> hey, Gary. Hey, good morning. Good to see you, Frankie. Yeah, you so too. this is a very <clears throat> rare truck. It's a 1941 diamond tee. They made mostly military and industrial trucks, but they did make some civilian pickup trucks and they call them the Cadillac of pickup trucks. They do have hubcaps that go with them, but I, I prefer the look without the hubcaps. Those are cool. And, uh, you know, as you can see, it's, it's a very Art Deco truck, uh, very wide fenders on it, you know, big headlights, sloping roof line that looks like it was chopped, but it wasn't. It was, you know, it's it actually does. factory. You're right. And, um, you know, it's got all kinds of little nuances that you don't notice, like, windows that pop out oh that's awesome yeah that is awesome crank out windows that's great yeah, that's absolutely yeah. Beautiful. thank you this is my best show right here, bro. thank you i appreciate it so tell us more about the uh, how long have you had it i've had it about six years now i actually bought it at uh, barrett jackson oh you in did. scottsdale yeah so, you know, I went there looking for something else and ended up with this. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you always end up with something at Barrett yeah. Jackson. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a great show. Um, I saw the truck and I never saw one in person before. Me neither. And, uh, you know, I just kept thinking about it. Next thing you know, I ended up with it. So let me get the interior again. Yeah. I'm a, yeah. Look at that. Look at that stick shift. <laughs> Did you have to do any work to it to restore it, or did, did it come like this? I did minor things to it, like uh, the armrests, mm -hmm. um, the door handles were pretty shot yeah. on it. Um, the uh, T in the back, believe it or not, these trucks did not come with bumpers. Really? So I had a Diamond T guy sell me a bumper. It was actually longer than this, and I had a guy bend it, cut it down, and fit it to size, make it look perfect. I can't imagine what it would look like without it. Yeah, it was kind of plain in the back. Yeah, and it looks perfect. Painted the T here. <clears throat> yeah. They, they had some, you know, crappy tail lights on it, and I replaced them with the original tail lights and brackets that came on it. So, you know, the spare tire was missing on it. So I was able to find one of those and uh, the bracket. Wow. That goes, which was, you know, not easy to find. <laughs> a lot of the parts are almost impossible to find. What's in the compartment? That's a, yeah, a little storage compartment that uh, I actually have like wheel chocks in there. That's awesome. <laughs> because I there's no emergency brake. Yeah. <laughs> so when I'm parking on a hill, I have to put the wheel chocks on. They didn't make too many of these. Uh, they I made them imagine. from 41 to 49. Look at the detail. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. It's like etching. It's gorgeous. This piece was uh, broken when I bought the truck. The tail section is typically broken off. Oh, so yeah. I was able to find one of these. <laughs> I don't know how you found that. <laughs> Well, believe me, it wasn't cheap and it wasn't easy to find. Look at the etching. But, I mean, that's uh, just, it's so, just beautiful. You have to look close. These were thing. missing. I was able to locate yeah. those, you know, so. And the headlights were kind of shot, so I was able to find a set of those. Oh. And, uh, yeah, it is absolutely stunning truck. Thank you. I've never seen one and I probably never will again. Yeah, yeah. Except I don't have to yours. worry about another one showing up at a show. <laughs> thank well, thanks so much, Gary. Thank you. We'll see you next week with another car. <laughs>